Uh, what systems engineering does is make sure that all of the different parts of the spacecraft work well together. For example, the structure has to support all the instruments, but at the same time, the structure has to provide places for the propulsion system to go. The propulsion system has to talk to the attitude control system that tells it when to fire thrusters. So all these different systems have to work together. And the systems engineering group makes sure that all of the boundaries between the different systems work correctly and that all the systems will play together nicely. One of the challenges we have is trying to fit 25 instruments and all of the supporting subsystems into one observatory. And then we have to fit four observatories into one launch vehicle. So in one sense, it was a great packaging challenge just to make sure that everything could fit together. So that's one big challenge. Another challenge is we're flying four spacecraft in a very tight formation, and the spacecraft are spinning. So in order to perform those maneuvers and do the tracking to make sure that we know where we are and that we're not going to bump into each other after we do maneuvers, that's been a big challenge that we've had to solve. I guess as a kid, I've always enjoyed uh, playing with Legos, of course, and taking things apart and hopefully putting them back together. So when I was a kid, fortunately, my parents let me take things apart around the house, and usually I'd get them back together the right way. Um, so I did go to engineering school for undergraduate and graduate work, and then after that I applied to work here at Goddard, and I was very excited on the interview because they took me around and I got to see that the engineers here actually build things. They design things themselves and they put things together and they, they build spacecraft, so it was really right up my alley. And when I started, I worked on the tropical rainfall measuring mission and then worked on the microwave anisotropy probe and then moved on to the Solar Dynamics Observatory and now on MMS. So my entire career really has been working on in-house spacecraft and it's been really rewarding because just like a kid playing with Legos, I've been able to design things and build things. For students, uh, if you really enjoy math or science or building things or designing things and you really like that creativity, um, as a student you know that you get more energy out of doing those things than perhaps some other schoolwork. And I would say follow what you enjoy doing. If you really like doing that, it will be natural and easy for you to continue in that career. And just stay with what you enjoy and if you're really strong in a particular subject, Play to your strengths and continue to do that. And just keep forging ahead and, and you'll find that things get easier and you'll just really enjoy it.